Welcome, my beautiful souls. Uh, today we are going to do a reading for Cancer. This is going to be um, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Some of you are intuitively guided. Uh, that just means you're paying attention to your intuition. And that's how your guides reach you, by the way, is through your intuition. Um, so thank you for paying attention. You could certainly be in love with the Cancer, platonically or romantically. Same thing, your guides know you're here. So, you know, just be open to receiving messages for yourself. Um, as many of you know, I do read through my spirit guide. So, you know, everything, all readings have like some spiritual undertone to them. Um, and I feel like, I feel like they're very real. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't leave out the bad stuff. But it's how we overcome it, really. Um, so I feel like the readings are like a roadmap. Anyway, don't know why I'm telling you all that. Um, this is going to be your December 2024 reading. Though, again, I want to say, like, when a reading finds you or you find a reading, to me, that's divine timing. That's definitely a lesson I have learned. Um, so, you know, putting it the date on it just so I could put it in a playlist. Other than that, I just feel like you'll know. You'll know. All right, guys. So we are going to use um, a few different decks here. We are going to use the Romance Angels if love comes out in the reading, which I'm sure it will because, you know, in a reading, I, I try to, like, I don't, it's not that I try. I let the readings be whatever they want to be. Um, and I feel like it's life, so it's a mixture, you know, it's a mixture of what you're dealing with, it's a mixture of, like, your money, how can I increase it, what do I need to know, it's, it's got, you know, there's usually love in it somewhere, you know, how can I reach the highest potential within love, um, so I feel like it's all in there, and that's why I bring out these different decks, all right. We are going to use the Major Arcanas again. And these are going to be um, kind of like bullet points. You know, um, I just love adding them into the reading. I feel like they bring so much, um, I guess, like a, a whole new level. So, I'll bring these back in. We are going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify or go deeper. That's one of the reasons why those are new. The reason the um, the readings are long is because we do go deep, right? We do go deep. Like I feel like I want to leave no stones unturned before I end your reading. Um, some like that, some don't. You know what I mean? But what what can, you know? I got to be true to me. I got to be true. I feel like I'm really being true to you. Um, but some may not be ready. So anyways, we, of course, are going to use Mother Mary for her beautiful words of wisdom and cancer, a deck that I have not used in a while. I think the last time I used this deck is the last time we went live, which feels like it's been forever. Um, that's coming up, by the way. So make sure you have your notifications on and you want to make sure that bell is rung 100 uh, percent. Because uh, I definitely send you notifications when I'm about to go live. And it's just, you can ask whatever you want um, when we go live. And I'm usually, you know, why I've cut back is because when I go live, I'm on there for like six, seven, eight hours. And it truly, it like not when I'm going through it, it doesn't feel exhausting at all. But when I'm done, I feel like. I have sapped my body of all its energy. So it takes time to recover. Um, so I haven't done them in a little while. And I think that's why I feel like my energy has just been a little bit lower. Um, but I also feel like planetary wise, energy is changing. And I feel that for the majority of us. Anyway, long story short, um, I know that some of you, this is your favorite deck. And I'm trying to remember the name um, it's something, it's the something which tarot. Mm, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along. It'll come to me. 
All right, but let's go ahead and start with Mother Mary and let's open up this reading. You know, I'm saying opening up. I really feel once once I begin, the reading has opened up. So let's open up the Chiro portion with Mother Mary. All right. Tenderness. It's kind of like the Empress's energy. I am both gentle and powerful. Like, don't don't take my gentleness as a sign that I'm not powerful. I am both. Right? But it feels like you lead with tenderness. I get this feeling like for some of you, it's it's like, I you know, I invite you in. But then, you know, if you do something that, you know, crosses a boundary very quickly, you're gone. And, you know, I don't know if I'm just picking on picking up a few of you, but I definitely feel that energy like, you know, you cross this boundary, then then you got to go. Tenderness. All right, we'll put this right over here. And let's go ahead and bring in the major arcanas. Give them a little shuffle. A little cut. There's not many of them. No, it's all the major arcanas. I was going to say, make sure they're in the upright, which they were not. So I'm glad I checked. And let's begin. Cancer, I feel like it's been a while since I've done a reading for you. So I like, I, I'm like anxious in a way where I want to see what's going on. All right, we have justice. We have the Empress. That makes sense because, you know, it makes sense with what I said earlier with what Mother Mary brought out, right? And both gentle and powerful. And where I was feeling some of you, like, you don't have a problem using the sword of justice any longer. You know, it's like, like you're of a certain vibration or you're, it's like, it's almost like this energy of, of I'm not going to allow others or even situations to cause me to be feel unbalanced. You know, this Empress is like very bountiful. Almost like she knows the law. I don't know the law. I know what you can do and what you cannot do. We have the chariot. Beautiful. And we have the world. Interesting. I don't know who I just did where, I think it was Capricorn. Um, they had the chariot also moving into the world's energy, which is the next chapter. You know, it's interesting because justice opening this, this part up, it's like using that sword, right? Cutting those ties to whatever it may be. You know, I just feel like if there's anything coming between you and your bounty, then first of all, I feel like sitting as the Empress, you would already know that. You know, the chariot, I feel like, I don't know, I get this feeling this Empress is saying to someone like, like I understand that if I'm not balanced, then my life isn't balanced. Right. I understand that, you know, if you bring your issues into my life, it causes imbalance within my life, which then in return feels like it stops like my growth. And by the way, when I say me, I mean you. Um, I had someone leave me a message like what was the whole reading was about you. Clearly they were new, um, which is fine. Um, I did ask why they said that's just so I could learn from that. But I just want you to know that when I say I, I am you. 
or I'm speaking to you as this person. But I feel it's more you're here. Like, I feel more of you are the Empress. And that's a good thing. That means you're in, you're in pretty good energy. Um, but it does mean, you know, something just kind of feels like something, you know, I don't know if something had to end or I needed to just cut off part of it. The chariot represents unlimited potential. The Empress understands that the chariot needs to have balance. It's like, think of a car, right? If I have a car and I want to go somewhere, all four tires need air in them, you know, of equal amounts. Um, they need to be balanced. That's kind of how I see the chariot, you know, like if I'm in balance in some way, then one of my tires, you know, is flat, which affects the whole system. The chariot, um, I have to feel is, you know, I want to say the word like a reward, but I feel like the chariot comes in when you're ready, just like for the reasons I said, you know, what would be the sense of coming in if it, if you're not ready? The chariot is driven by your seeds of intention. So you're really planting the seeds that are telling the chariot where you want to go. And again, unlimited potential. Only limit on the chariot is what our human mind puts upon it. And the chariot's heading right into the world's energy, right into the next portal. By the way, the chariot is also you. And there's a big rainbow behind them. All right, let's keep going. Excuse me. I definitely feel like there's a lot of lessons you have learned just through life itself, like life lessons, soul lessons. Um, I do feel like many of you are sitting here with, let's just say a much higher vibration than maybe years ago. For some of you, it's like night and day. We have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, fast moving energy. Light a fire underneath your conjurum and go, go, go. It's time to go. You know what else I feel with the Eight of Wands is it's the energy of what I think about, I bring about. So, definitely change, right? But it's fast-moving change. Um, but it feels like it's a good thing, not a bad thing. Definitely be growing something, like growing a business. That may be why I feel the Empress is like, like I see her bounty. So if you're growing something, you know, growing a business, I feel this energy is just right behind you, helping you um, see the fruits of your labor even more than normal. I don't know. Noticing that full moon. And we have, what, the full moon in Gemini for December. We have the Five of Swords. Hmm. Well, that's where the Sword of Justice comes in. And we have the Seven of Cups. All right, let's read what it says. You can't be right all the time. Interesting. Can't be right all the time. And then the Seven of Cups. Not every great option you're given will be a great option for you. 
Well, again, the Empress would know. You know, the Five of Swords, um, it, it does kind of feel like it's, it feels like people or a situation, but it can also be of one's thoughts. You know what I mean? Like, uh, having that realization that, you know, maybe I myself have, like, stopped chasing my own dreams, but I feel like that's changing. Um, I feel like a lot is changing. But I feel like it's because you're changing. And I feel like you're changing your world, like who's in your world, what's in your world. You're being much more selective. I feel for some of you, it's like a group of people that you were around. Almost like a, like a group of friends just got into this argument. But I feel like it would be more than a one-time thing. Um, and again, that's not for everyone. But I do feel, I feel more like it's instead of singular energy. Kind of like, you know, people. You know, it's interesting, you have all these people over here hanging out under the moonlight. And then you have these people over here, like, in broad daylight. But they're the ones where the issue lies. Could mean something's going on during your daylight hours. Hmm, interesting. King of Cups. King of Cups. Um, can be you, another Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. What does it say? Always compose yourself before giving a response. Well, I don't know. It doesn't really sound like the King of Cups. Though he is under the world. I feel like some of you are... I feel like if there's a, this, like, an offer, an opportunity, or something opens up. Um, and I do feel like it's... Well, let's just say there, you know, there's some emotions attached to it. I don't know if it's like completely an emotional situation, but I feel like some of it is, uh, might be of an emotional nature. But anyway, I feel like this, like there's different types of opportunities opening up. And I do feel like you have to, you know, decide whether to follow or not to follow. Beautiful. The sun. Give yourself permission to experience joy. Interesting because the sun is coming under the Eight of Wands, but what I'm really noticing in the Eight of Wands is it's nighttime and there's a full moon. And the full moon really represents the feminine and the sun really represents the masculine so it's almost like tying that energy together um the sun's also a luminator so that's also great coming under the eight of wands where you know it's telling you to go 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 um to follow you know follow whatever it is you want to follow you know i feel like it feels like you're ready it feels like you've just grown. And again, it's like not afraid to use that sword wherever that sword is needed. So the sun's like a new day. Oh, we have a card right here. 
we have interesting two Leo cards side by side, your neighbor, double Leo, the sun and the strength card. It takes great strength to be soft. Interesting. It takes great strength to be soft. And I love that that's mirroring the Empress, who really is soft, loving, nurturing, tenderness, you know, um, but also powerful, strong, wise, experienced, creative, you know, but I feel like what's being recognized is the softness right now, especially with Mother Mary bringing out the world. I mean, tenderness. Two eights can represent um, potentially two new beginnings. You know, two two things. Maybe maybe there's two offers coming your way. Wow. All right. The Knight of Cups. Romanticize the present moment. Every chance you get, it's like, see it, feel it, whatever it is you want. See yourself in it, visualize. Um, this is really manifesting, but this is, this is really an unexpected couple of fulfillment. Knight of Cups, mirroring the chariot, interesting. Seven of Cups right above it. Well, deciding whether to choose a cup. You know, then I'm looking at the King of Cups who's actually pouring a cup of tea. A cup of tea. So I feel like ultimately I chose a cup. We have the Magician. Beautiful. You have everything you need to do anything you want. Wow. You have everything you need to do anything you want. I mean, that feels like a direct message from your guides. It's like my cancer... My cancers are, have been in this transformation. And I feel like they are getting to really know themselves and to understand, you know, that they're on the soul journey as much as a human, you know, as much as having human experiences, it really is about the soul's journey. And it feels like, you know, I'm knowing that, I know that more and more. Um, I'm understanding energy more and more. And therefore, the ability to manifest. You know, it's interesting I said that I felt like there may be a couple changes. Well, the Knight of Cups could certainly be a change because it is unexpected. But it is a cup of fulfillment. And it's heading right to the magician. You have everything you need to do anything you want. Could be this king of cups. Also got the bottom of the deck. Look at this. The queen of cups. Hello. Honoring, honoring your emotions is one of the highest forms of self-care. Look at her. She's just like chilled out in her porch. Probably her favorite place. Little star right there. It's like she's just, you know, daydreaming. 
Here is the King of Cups. Here is the Knight of Cups. All right, well, let's bring in the Gilded Trout. <clears throat> kind of feels like something's coming together, to be honest. And I have to say, um, I do, I do really love it. If this is speaking of love, um, that is of the same sign, and I don't mean that like as in these two people must be of the same sign, you know, or that they must be cancer or even water. What I mean is. Um, I feel like they'd be much more like-minded. Um, definitely open. Open with each other. Almost feels like this king might invite you over for a cup of tea. Would you like a spot of tea? There's all these stars around it. Here's this star up here. You know, could they be manifesting each other? We do have the magician right below. All right, let's take them the way they came out. Hmm, another eight. Three eights now, 888. Um, you know, I definitely feel like when we see triple numbers, that, and I recognize that, like, you know, that alone is a message. Um, you know, sometimes I'll look it up in the phone, but I do know eight, eight is the number of infinity, number one. So as above, so below, um, it is the number of new beginnings. Um, you know, it's really, I feel like more of a number of self. Like the strength card, you know, nobody can really fix the inner me, let's say, more than I can, if that makes sense. Anyway, Eight of Pentacles. I like that. First of all, I like this for your money. Um, especially if this is something that might be somewhat new to you. This is definitely the energy of the willingness to be the apprentice knowing that you know one day you will be the master teacher i often feel this is energy you're guided towards you know sometimes it's, it can simply mean keep your head down don't get involved in other people's drama um you know because there's work for you to do there's something you know that will be and can be and maybe already is abundant for you so this could be the beginning. That for some reason, I'm not really feeling like it's just the beginning. Um, all right, let's keep going. Mm, the Nine of Swords over the Five of Swords and that Justice. And then look at this, Seven of Swords over the Seven of Cups. Okay. You know, there seems to be a theme in December's readings already. And I feel like it's almost like our guides are saying it's important that we ourselves feel fulfilled within, you know, inner fulfillment. Um, it's important that we be daring enough to chase our dreams, whatever they may be, um, but also letting go of exactly how they must look. Because they may look different than what's in your like mind's eye, but it'll probably probably be so much better, especially if you're willing to put your focus there. Now, this nine of swords with the seven of swords, I definitely feel like this is this well, this is what needs to go, right? Seven of swords is untrustworthy energy. And now the seven of cups makes even more sense, right? Like, okay, here comes this Knight of Cups offering me this cup. Yet, what I know of love, you know, at least, let's say, the last relationship was some reason, um, well, not normally would hang around unless I chose to let it hang around. Um, but I feel like, you know, someone's untrustworthy energy. 
someone who probably had you in like this state of worry all the time definitely was toxic you know the nine of swords the meaning of the card is unnecessary worry but it's right by justice it's sword so it's almost like is someone causing me all this worry there's just is there just someone i can't trust you know is someone or people holding me back from what it is i want to create in this world you know there's a really a sense of finding trust within yourself first and foremost and you know the one thing i want to say is i get it why the seven of cups is like i'm not sure you know as it relates to love down here because of because of the past but remember the empress really doesn't hold on to that energy um and you know one of the things the empress is, the empress learns is throughout life her vibration is lifting right it is through her lessons and some of them may be very hard very dark you know what i mean like you know she may have had gone to her dark side um but now i feel like she's in the light the sun is here The sun is kind of like your protector also because, again, the Empress, number one, trust her intuition. So if this Knight of Cups was coming in and it was carrying any untrustworthy energy, your intuition would let you know that. But if you would miss that for some reason, the sun is your illuminator. So it will illuminate that. It will illuminate everything, not just the good things. If there's things that need to go, it's going to illuminate that for you. You know what I mean? Sometimes that's hard. Sometimes it's like, thank you. Um, but it also illuminates your path. You know, your, you know, how can I reach the type of life I want? So anyway, long story short, I can definitely see where someone, let's just say, plays some mind games and, um, Maybe part of the lesson was just not accepting it, you know. You may have worried, did I do the right thing? I feel, I feel like your energy will tell you that, but I feel like the answer is yes, if you were dealing with that type of energy. All right, mm. Ten of Cups, over the King of Cups, also connected to the world. Wow. First of all, I love the Ten of Cups mirroring the Eight of Pentacles. Great energy if you're working from home, which I know many of you do. You could talk about doing something that, you know, you may not know it yet, but you may end up just loving. Like, it just feel, it'll just feel so good to you. I feel like it'll change you. It'll just make you happy. Like, happiness is coming. Joy is coming. It's interesting now because the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, and now the King has the Ten of Cups. Could it be? Kind of looks that way. But we'll keep going. Remember, we do have the Knight of Cups. We're going to go over this double Leo now. Look at this. We have the eight of wands again. Interesting. Eight of wands right there. Eight of wands right here. Eight of pentacles over that. Eight of wands over the sun. And then we have the page of swords over the strength card. <clears throat> I mean, the first thing I feel 
is that the king and the queen, whether they know it or not, I feel like they're manifest they're manifesting each other into each other's lives. Now, does it mean I have to know this person? No, it doesn't mean I have to know this person. Um, but I don't feel like this person is anything like your past. You know what I mean? Like, first of all, the person's coming in this in the light. It has the potential of the Ten of Cups. It's coming also. The Ten of Cups is also touching the world. Page of Swords could be like some type of communication. We have the moon, the moon again. Something about the moon. Maybe it's happening around Gemini's full moon. Um, the, the moon is your ruler. You know, I feel like the moon says, I can't guarantee you anything. But what I can tell you is if you take this energy and you live day to day, enjoying because in the sun it's really enjoying like nature and life and being playful you know it's not taking everything seriously you know it's like it gives you a breath to have some fun so even though the moon you know can't guarantee you anything i feel like what it's saying is maybe it is about the dreaminess of the journey. Interesting that um, the moon is also mirroring, you know, this, the moon is your ruler, and then it's also mirroring the chariot, which is also your ruler. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Star. Well, remember I was talking about the Star with the Queen? There's the Star, the King, all these stars right around this cup. In the Seven of Cups, this person is trying to make a choice. What cup do I choose? The King is actually pouring a cup of tea. To me, that represents me. I'm making a choice. Um, or at least I feel like, you know, this king knows, I feel like this king knows what he wants. And whether I know you or not, I know what type of life I want to live. And I want it to be the Ten of Cups type of energy. And that kind of feels like what it will be. What am I holding? Well, the star, my hopes, my dreams, my wishes. And manifesting them. And then the Seven of Pentacles here is great energy to have in here also because I feel like, you know, this is almost the energy of what is meant to be will be. To me, this is the seeds that your soul has planted, you know, through this lifetime. Um, and remember, we want to always plant seeds so that we know that we'll have a harvest, right? We'll always have a harvest coming ahead. And it depends on the seeds we plant today. It's really going to determine our harvest. If we plant it, you know, fear-based seeds, chances are the future is also going to be fear-based. But again, the Nine of Swords is unnecessary. You know, maybe it is about taking some leaps of faith, really trusting in yourself. And, you know, allowing, your, allowing yourself also to be surprised. Because remember, this Knight of Cups, it is, it's a surprise. But it does feel like the right person. It's almost like I've already chosen the cup, and the cup is you. And that may be why we're seeing two Eight of Wands that are connected with the Sun, by the way. You know, and this can also answer a question. Let's say I'm, I'm, I am worried about being in love. How do I know it's going to work? Well, the Eight of Pentacles is that answer. If you focus, it will grow. It's what you focus upon. 
if you focus on and you can focus on more than one thing right there's like do your thing because i feel abundance i feel like it just feels like the right path and it feels like whoever and whatever has been holding you back i feel like those days are coming to an end but it's because of you it's you using the sword of justice it's you saying no more imbalances and as you do that every time you use that sword i feel like it just naturally lifts your vibration which naturally means that what comes in must be of a higher vibration wow that was a mouthful you know um you can also look at this like an apple tree um because the first lesson within the seven of pentacles is patience um patience for maybe a dream just coming true but that's why i related to like an apple tree you know i'm not going to pick an apple until it's ripe but when it is ripe it's ripe for picking it's time to pick it and that's what i feel like is happening with the magician here and then the star right next to it like some dreams are coming true and some of them are just going to be unexpected and I feel like you got to be okay with that. And maybe it is about whether, you know, has cancer learned to take that leap of faith? Some may say, I've taken that leap of faith and look, look where it got me. But that was then. This is about now and this is about the potential of what can be. And again, because I feel like your energy is different and your vibration is different, so will so will the elements and the people that come into your life. You know, I feel like it just means that it's like you find your soul tribe, not just love, but like your soul tribe. The you know, because here I felt like this felt like some friends that were just let's just say drama filled. And maybe I really did need to, like, understand when I hang out with them. You know, I am who I hang out with. And when I'm hanging out with them, I'm not being proactive. All right. I'm bringing in the romance angels. Um... So I feel like I get it, and I hope you do, like, on a material level, on a creative level. You know, this is truly abundant type energy, um, but it's you. It's the actions you put behind. It's you believing in yourself and your dreams and the ability to then start chasing them. Even if I don't know where, you know, even if I'm not sure, if I feel driven towards or if i'm feeling passionate about it then i feel the energy is saying this is you'll learn as you go you'll grow as you go you know and some people may just have to take that leap of faith you know what i mean um you know like i know some people want to do a youtube channel and you know to each of their own like yes you want to start it when you feel comfortable but sometimes that time will never come you know what I mean? It's like you, because you feel like everyone will judge you. Don't judge yourself. Just put it out there. Put out whatever you, you know, that's something I learned. Because in the beginning, I'd think, oh my God, what will people think? Now, I just read. I just see what's in front of me, feel what I feel. And wherever it resonates, I know it was meant to. I just read. And I don't. I don't even edit my videos. I know some are like you should, um, but I don't. I just I just now trust that whatever, even things that I don't know why I'm saying, I feel like I'm saying for someone. So anyways, all I'm saying is take a chance. Um, your, your soul tribe will find you. You know, yes, do it when you do it when it feels right to you, but don't let fear be the reason why maybe you don't do something or other people's opinions for sure 
Don't listen to other people. Maybe don't even tell other people. All right. Getting to know each other. Getting to know each other. Getting to know you. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Hmm. So there's going to be some conversation going on. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Now, some of you, you may have already released an ex. But what this is saying is their energy is still hanging around. Like you haven't cleared the energy. And that's what I feel when the Nine of Swords connects to the Seven of Swords. I don't feel like this has anything to do about what's coming in. And it has everything to do about what was. But that Nine of Swords is like, don't allow yourself to live in a state of worry. You know, maybe thinking that everyone is like like this person. Um, it, it's all about you and your vibration. You know what I mean? And that's what you want to think about. Like, sometimes we can't have who we want, but maybe in a way it serves us. Because I feel like who is coming feels right. Like, you know, and maybe you've not experienced this yet. So you don't know what you know until you know it. Anyways, the time has come to clear your energy. Goodbye, X. True love. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So, now we know the Knight of Cups is bringing in true love. When I saw the stars that are connecting the Queen and King of Cups, I knew, I just knew, um, I felt like this King had already chosen the cup, so to me, is like already available, and I feel like the queen, you know, she's considering her future, um, and maybe hopefully clearing some energy. But she's she's relaxed, which to me means she'll be much more open. It feels like seven of pentacles sitting down here, right next to this love. And over the magician. And connect to the star. Hello. You want to talk about timing being right. This is the right time. Don't compare past love to future love. And think about your own vibration as it relates to in all areas of your life. Doesn't matter if other people don't believe in you. Believe in yourself. Doesn't matter if other people are telling you, you know, chances are you won't be successful. If you feel you you will be, then you should go after it. Even if you're just stepping into it. I feel like you'll be automatic. Like, like I feel like the epiphanies and the ideas will just automatically come to you. But you need to trust in that. I do feel that, you know, let's just say at the end of the day, that bounty is going to, you know, you will be bountiful. You. And it's not about someone else. It's about you, yourself being bountiful. And then jumping in that chariot and driving through the energy of the world. It's like my car is tuned up. I'm ready to go. And then so you do. And, you know, it does feel like, you know, you're getting your career together. Some of you starting down new new avenues. Um, again, it all feels like the right, it just feels like everything is happening in the right time. I feel like there's something around the Gemini full moon for you. This may be when you meet someone. Um... And, you know, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I like that a lot. So to me, that does mean like there'll be long, 
deep conversation. This person is a package deal. And with the Empress, could certainly be a single mom. Um, but, you know, like her child is right there. And this person is not running. Matter of fact, I feel like the child is actively listening. But I feel like this person's on their very best behavior. Like respectful. Probably so different than an ex. I feel like so different. And that may be another thing that you need to be open to. This person may be so different. But I feel like you're different. But it is saying this is a romance of a lifetime. And I feel like that's why I was saying um, a few times in a reading about, about enjoying the journey. You know, it is showing the potential of the ultimate destination already, the Ten of Cups, right? But it starts as a dream, as a twinkle in each his eye. And then it's about the journey that has the potential as long as we focus on each other, then we will have the Ten of Cups, especially with the sun right here. Wow. I mean, first of all, the sun's for you. It is your illuminator. You know, when the sun is out, it's a good time. It's a good time. And, you know, maybe the moon is saying also... You know, where you have to release your ex or release that energy. Do it by the full moon. So that you can be open to what the full moon gifts are, right? But if I'm if I'm closed off or I'm, you know, carrying all this old energy, then I, I keep getting the same. So you're like, put it on paper. If you're if you have old thoughts or old memories or old you know things that aren't serving you and you know a lot of times we don't want to pick up the phone right and be like i don't get why you did it sometimes it's just because they don't know better but anyways i feel like get it out of you and i could see some of you writing down like a lot of these emotions and then during the full moon burning them releasing them And then just being open to whatever the universe has in store for you. But it is also a time for you taking action. So, you know, the willingness to be the fool a few times and take some leaps of faith. But man, does it feel worth it? Look at this. We have the lovers under the Queen of Cups. They're just not together yet. That's why we haven't seen them. Will you or won't you? The choice is you is yours. I feel like honestly, it's talking about this queen and king, and I feel like they are true loves, and I feel like they do have the potential of going to the ten of cups, um, and I do feel like it starts with a twinkle. And everything takes off from there. Um, but, you know, again, you, you need to be willing to take that leap of faith. And, you know, and I don't always want to put it on someone else. Maybe you meet someone. Take that leap of faith and reach out. You never know. It may turn into like this, like I just called to say hi. And next thing you know, we're on the phone for like hours. And then, whew, Person calls me the next day. You never know. Just be open. Cancer, what a reading. What a reading. I think I'm going to leave it there, though. Um, this feels like a, you know, I want to say a great month for you, but it feels like the beginning of some great energy that when I see the world, I feel like, this is energy that lasts for the rest of my life. So, I feel like it's talking about a love that has the potential of lasting for the rest of your life, but also what you do in the world. doesn't mean you can't make changes here and there, but I feel 
it's you trusting within your own ideas and epiphanies and then putting them into action. And, you know, just knowing that if you focus on it, that you will see the fruits of your labor. Like, I know it. I feel it. So. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, I don't know why it feels like forever since I've done one of your readings. Um and I definitely was pulled to you today. I was going to, you know, I'm doing December's and I was going to go in order. But something is like, no, do cancer today. So um, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did it. What a reading. You know, I feel proud of you. And for those who like maybe still are stuck, um, it's really showing you that you can free yourself, you know. And just know your worth. Know your worth. And for those who don't, well, hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. That's what I got to say. I love you guys. I thank you. I thank you in the million ways you support you support this channel. Um, your comments, I love them. And I love how you help each other. So um, I feel like that's just beautiful. Um, your donations, it's really what keeps the channel alive. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, sharing the video. You know, one another thing I've learned when I do a reading is... I just release it down to the universe and I just trust that it will find whoever it's meant to find. So if you're here, I'm glad you're here. I'm so grateful for you. All right, guys, I love you. I thank you. And I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.